Son of you here already. Hello, Raul. Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Hi, so hello. you're ready, right? Welcome, welcome. How are you? Everything good? I good. Oh, sounds great. Sounds great. Carolina del Carmen is here. Hi, Carolina. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Um, also, we have, let me see, Laura Molina, Carla Melissa, and Edgar. Hello, people. It's nice to have, have you one more time. Today is Thursday, as so you know. It's going to be the last class of the week. Okay. And this is going to be the third week. Okay, of this module you are having. And um, today is going to be our, our class number 12. So I hope that we can finish uh, all this, this thing. Okay. Give me a minute. Okay. Give me a minute because this thing is loading. I'm just getting the, um, just getting your addendums list. So I can have it ready when the rest of your classmates join us. Okay. Um. Again, don't forget that you have the material on the website, so you can do the exercises. Right. I was watching the um the WhatsApp group, and I love the way you help your classmates, which is pretty much very good. Sometimes when you some of your classmates don't know how to do the exercise, you help each other, right? Which is pretty nice. Entonces, a veces no me dan tiempo ni de contestar porque ya nuestros compañeros ya lo hicieron, which is very good. Okay, so um, I love it. I love it. So again, it's nice to have you. I wish you the best. Be ready for the weekend, okay? Because uh, it's going to be incredible. Christmas is coming, right, Jocelyn? So you got to be ready with your chumpe and with your gallinas indias for this coming um, at Christmas, right? right? For those panes con pollo you are going to make, um, which is pretty much very good, right? Uh, welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. There is a chat here. Somebody saying, okay, Edgar, no problem. It's nice to have you one more time. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know, Edgar. Uh, and I hope you get um, home soon, okay? Uh, if you have a question about the material we have available in the website, you can let me know anytime, Okay. Let me know anytime so I can help you out with it. We can talk about it so we can uh, work on it. Yep. Uh, let me know anytime so I can um, check with you all this um, material that we have available, right? So we can practice a little bit on, on this content that we have in this, in this module. Yeah. Um, also, if you have a question about the exercises we, we're working on in this uh, module, just just let me know anytime so I can help you out. We were working with simple present tense. Uh, that is the one where we are working so far. Um, and today we will keep working on this on this material that we have available in this, for this lesson. Okay, um, give me a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to be an easy class. Okay, we're going to have um, some practice. Uh, we're going to have a reading that is available in the website. Okay, so you can participate a little bit on that. Uh, that is the first thing we are going to do. And then we're going to get into the grammar part that we have available for today. Okay, as you may know, this is today we're going to have Thursday, um, December 2nd. And this is going to be um, today's uh, agenda. Section number four, again, which is about do you like rap? It's about music. And then we have wood, wood, plus verb, plus two, plus verb. And this is pre intermediate number one. This is class number 12. Welcome again. It's nice to have you one more time. People, let's begin by taking the attendance. When you hear your name, say present or I'm here. If you have a question, let me know anytime. Um, hmm. Oh, is this is December 1st? It's not the second, it's December 1st. Sorry. Alison Celaya? Alison Celaya? No? Okay, what about Ana Marisol Zamora? 
Ana Marisol Zamora, no? Okay, what about Andrea Marisol Represa? Andrea Marisol Represa? No? Okay, what about Andrea Vanessa Landos? Andrea Vanessa Landos, are you here? Hello, hello, no? Okay. Probably she will join us later. Barbara Cabrera, Larin? Hello, Barbara? No? Okay. Present teacher, I got you here. Um, Brenda Castro. Present teacher. Perfect, Brenda. It's nice to have you one more time. Um, Carolina del Carmen Perez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Carolina. Uh, let me check, let me check, let me check. Thank you. Uh, Claudia Lopez. Hello, Claudia. Are you here? No? Okay. Uh, Cristina Monge. Hello, Cristina. No? Okay, let's continue with uh, Daniela Magali Asensio. No? Okay. Um, um, Edgar, you told me that, Edgar, that you're traveling, right? Very good. I hope you get to spend uh, the home. Uh, Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. Thank you, thank you. Ernesto? No? Okay. Continue with somebody else. Um, that's Griselda Moreno. Hello, Griselda. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Nice to have you one more time. Um, Ivania Mendoza. Hello, Ivania. Hello, Ivania. No, no, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Jennifer Torres. Hello, Jennifer Torres. No, okay. Continue with somebody else. Um, Jennifer Moss. Jennifer Moss. No. Okay. Jennifer Marroquin Juarez. Hello, Jennifer. Are you here? Yes or no? No. Okay. Let's carry on with you, Jocelyn Mancia. Jocelyn Mancia, are you here? No. I'm here, oh. teacher. Oh, thank you, Jocelyn. And Karen Garcia. Hello, Karen. No. Okay. What about Present you? Present teacher. Oh, Karen, you're here. Carla Colocho. Carla Colocho. Hello, hello. Yes, no? Okay. I'm here. Oh, thank you so much, Carla. Okay. Very good. Um, let's continue with you, Laura. Laura. Hello, teacher. Thank you so much, Laura. Nice to have you one more time. And Leslie, I think Leslie she's absent, right? I think she sent a message. But she's somehow sick. That's what I got. Um, let me see. Let me see, let me see. Leslie, okay, let's continue with Lisbeth. Lisbeth? Lisbeth? Are you here? No? Okay. Let's continue with you, Lorena del Carmen. Lorena? No? Okay. Uh, what about you, Lucia Cepeda? Present teacher. Thank you, Lucia. It's nice to have you one more time. Um, Mayra Araceli. Hello, Mayra. Mayra, Mayra. No? Okay. Let's continue with uh, Raul. You're here, right, Raul? Present. Then we will carry on with Dalila. Dalila. Present Thank you, Ruth and Carmen, chicas. Thank you, Ruth. Presente. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, Stephanie Quintanilla. Thank you so much. Nice to have you, everybody. Welcome one more time. Okay, um, just give me a minute so I can get some material for you and I can have it ready. Okay, let me see. No. 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 If I have it. No. Uh, let me see. No. Okay, let me check if there is this one. No. Give me a minute. Because I have like a. But I don't find, I don't find it. Oh my gosh, I don't have it. Oh. 
No, I don't have it. Okay. 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 We're going to have some questions in here. I will show you the following material. Uh, I will request participation from you at home. Just be ready. I will say your name randomly. Okay, so you can participate on this. Okay, um, just be ready. Okay. So, okay. So um, here we go. Okay. This one is. Si no lo ve bien, me avisa. Okay. Me avisa. Espera que cargue a little bit. Okay. Ahí tenemos. Hungry monkey. We have do and does. Okay. Let's have this practice. Raul, let's begin with you. Okay. Aquí tenemos two options, Raul. Tenemos do y tenemos does. ¿Cuál de los dos utilizo aquí? Va a seleccionar la opción y luego me lee las, la oración completa, la question. Yes? Okay. Yes, Raúl. Raúl. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. What is the option? Do or does? Sería este. Do, do your brothers study at university? Do. Okay. Thank you. That is correct. Do. Do your brothers. ¿Por qué do, Raúl? Y no das. Porque das es para he, she, it, y do para los demás. Para plurals, right? Very good. Para brothers. Para. Brothers is plural. Very good. Okay. Um, Brenda. You're next, Brenda. Okay. Uh, it does. Okay, can you read the, the, the sentence, please? Read the sentence. When, when does he go to, go to the beach? When does he go to the beach? Thank you. Thank you so much. When does, that is correct. Okay, Dalila, you're next, Dalila. The next one is for you, Dalila. Hello. Do or does, Dalila? What do your mother do in the morning. One more time, please. One more time, Dalila. One more time. Do or does? Uh, do. Okay, let's check. What do your mother do in the morning? Okay. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Tenemos das. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de my mother. What does your mother? Y mother is she. Ok, Dalila. So okay. we need to use does with that. Very good. Ok. Thank you, Alison. Ángel, continue. Thank you. Teacher, no me aparece la pantalla. Solo me parece que está cargando. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Voy a compartir nuevamente, ¿ok? Don't worry. Bueno. Tal vez ahí le carga ahora. ¿Ok? Espere que cargue un momento. Sorry. ¿Ok? What about now? ¿Ya le cargó? Sí. ¿Hoy sí? Sí. ¿Ok? Perfect. ¿Cuál sería? Do or does? What is the option? Do. ¿Ok? Le llame la sentencia de la cuestión. When do they have lunch? Eh, let me check. Yes. Thank that you. Is that is correct. Do. When do they have lunch? Beautiful. Thank you so much. Ana Marisol. Ana Marisol. Hello, Ana. Hello, Thank you. What is the option? Do or does? Mm. Das. Okay, read the, que the, uh, the question, please. Uh, why does we have to stay here? Okay, let's check. No, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Utilizamos do. Why do? ¿Por qué do? 
Porque aquí tenemos Wii. Ok. Aquí tenemos Wii. Entonces, como tenemos Wii, vamos con tú. Porque tú es para Wii. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, Carolina del Carmen, you're next. Thank you. Carolina del Carmen. Yes, teacher. What is the option? Do or does? Does your sister play volleyball? Thank you. Thank you. So much. That is correct. Does your sister. Why does? Again, because we have she here. So that means sister. Very good. Let's continue with you, Griselda. You're next, Griselda. Please. What is the option here, Griselda? Do or does? Is does. Okay, read the question, please. Does she cook at home? Let's check. Thank that you. is correct. Very good. Does. Wonderful. Okay, let's continue with you, Ivania. Ivania, Stephanie, the next one is for you. What is the option? Do or does? Ivania, can you participate? If not, I'll go, I'll go with Laura. Okay, Laura, thank you. What is the option here, Laura? Do or does? Does. Okay, can you read this the question, please? Does Paul even play the guitar? Okay, let's check. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We have do. Why do? Porque tenemos Paul and Ben. So we have they. We have they. So we have a plural thing in here. Exactly. When we have something plural, yes, we use do. Do Paul and Ben. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's continue with the next one. Oh my gosh. The next one is for you, uh, Ruth Chicas, please. Thank you. What is the option, Ruth? Espérame. What do you do at school? Let's check. Thank you. That is correct. Do. What do you do at school? Very good. Thank you. We have another one in here, which is for you, Stephanie Quintanilla. Thank you so much. What is the option, Stephanie Quintanilla? Do or does? How does the teacher go to a school? Does. That is correct. Very good. Thank you. Okay. How does the teacher go to school? Okay, so and I think we finished with this one. Okay, we finished with this one. Thank you so much for participating on this one. Uh, right now we're gonna get into the grammar part for today's class. Um, and that little practice was about questions with do and does. Remember, do do goes with the plurals and with first and second, like I, you, they, we, and you. Okay, and does goes with he, she, and it. Jocelyn? Sí, teacher, eso lo que quería preguntarle, que para cuándo se usaba does y para cuándo do, pero lo acabo de decir. Exacto, exacto. Entonces tenemos do, do, y tenemos does, ok? Que this the one that we, we are working with simple present. Does goes with he, with she, and with it, right? Y el resto, pues, va con do. Exactly. Like I, like you, and they, right? And also we, yeah? Remember that with, with he, tenemos también Carlos. So we can say Carlos, okay? I can say Lucia, yeah? Because that's, that's the way. And I can say also with it, the dog, right? So here you need to play with this one. Right, very good. Nice question. Just need to like delete this thing. Very good. Okay, let's continue. I'm gonna show you a video which is available in the platform for you to remember how this topic is going to be. Um, let me show you this one. Listen and watch. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of word in questions and answers. 
Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus would plus verb plus to plus verb comma but plus examples I would love to go to her new house but I can't I would like to go to her new house but I can't so this is the explanation about wood how do we work with wood okay um give me a minute I need to send something in WhatsApp group Give me a minute, please. Give me two minutes. Okay, I sent you the link in the chat on soon for the ones that couldn't join us, but I think Lorena, she joined us already. Okay, uh, again, so this video is the grammar part, which is this one. Oh my gosh, this one, would, would, okay? This is the structure that we have, would, we have a verb, then we have a to, and then we have a verb. So we say, would you like to go out on Friday? This is an invitation. Okay, so you are inviting somebody or someone to do something with you, right? Or or like going to somewhere, you know what I mean? And we have two ways to answer. I would, yes, I would, or yes, I'd love to, thanks. You can use contraction. This contraction is somehow difficult to pronounce, okay? So at the end, le va a quedar como un da. I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to, I'd love to. Okay, so it's, it's difficult to pronounce. If you go directly with I would, that's different because you can say the word correctly, you know what I mean? But if you need to use contraction, you can use it. Okay, I'd love to. I'd, I'd love to. Yes, I love to. Thanks. When you speak sometimes with, no se nota mucho, right? But ahí está. Entonces, yes, I'd love to. Yes, I'd love to. Would you like to go to the concert? I love to, but I have to work late. I like to, but I need to save money. I like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay, so in the first one, you are accepting something. And in the second one, you are saying, oh, like, me gustaría, but, este but que está aquí, we use this thing cuando queremos dar una contrast information. Queremos decir una information que 
pues contradice a la primera. ¿Bien? Si la primera es positive, cuando utilizamos un but, es para decir como pero, ¿ya? Yeah, I have to work late. I need to save money. I want this in my farms. Yes? I'd stands for I would. And this is the way we do it. This is the typical question when we want to invite somebody. You can say, would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go to the concert? Would you like to go to have dinner together? Uh, would you like to go to the movies? Would you, uh, would you like to go to watch, I don't know, uh, like, there, like, I don't know, uh, videos on YouTube? Would you like to go out for a picnic? Would you like to, I don't know, I don't know, I mean, I don't know, go to the beach, right? Or would you like to visit your like parents in love? So these are different invitations. And what do we use? We use would you like to. Y luego utilizamos el verbo que queremos decir, right? Podemos usar go, podemos utilizar visit, different concepts, right? El que tenemos ahorita in this time is go. Porque puede ser go out on Friday, go to the beach, go to a concert, go to a show, go to a Guatemala, right? Go to San Salvador, go to New York. Um, so we just using go just to invite somebody. Yes, preguntas acerca de este contenido? Questions about this? Questions about this? No? Okay, igual tenemos some ways that we can also. Oh, Raúl Reyes, sorry. Este, solo quería eh, salir bien de la duda. Es, es would o would? Would. I would. 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 The, would. would. Exactly. I would. Ah, gracias. Thank you. I would. And then we have, yes, I'd. I'd, I'd love to. I'd, I'd love to. Okay. Um, yep, that's the way. Let's have, okay, pasó aquí. No, 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 no. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Que esta cosa no me deja. A veces como que agarra, se encapricha, and it doesn't allow me to show the next one, which is this one. Okay, we have some other ways, casual ways to decline an invitation in English. Okay, we have these casual ways to decline. Allá vimos que decíamos, I'd like to, but I have to work on Saturday. Yeah, usted puede declinar an invitation like that. Okay, would you, si yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, would you like to go to the party on Friday? I like to, but I have to work on Friday. Yes. And here in this picture, you have other casual ways to um, decline an invitation. Yes. If somebody asks you, would you like to go to the birthday party on this weekend? Sorry. Right. I can take a rain check. Oh, my gosh. Make you okay. Make you okay. Make you okay. Sorry. Can I take a rain check? Oh my gosh, rain check, what is that? Give me a minute, please. I need to Google that thing because don't me acuerdo que, what is the meaning of that? Rain check. If you know that thing, let me know. Oh. Same for think of me. <laughs> what is that? Eh, gracias por pensar en mí, pero tengo otras cosas que hacer ese día, ¿no? Ese no era el sorry. No, 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 no. It's this one, the first one. It says rain check. Uh, can I take a rain check? Oh my gosh. It's a rain check. It's like a ticket or a coupon. Okay. So it's like, sorry, can I take a ticket? Oh my God. Ay. Espérame, espérame. Give me a break. Sorry, people. Que esta cosa no me deja. 
espérame, aguántame ahí, aguántame ahí que necesito. I need to close this thing. Okay, teacher, no problem. Thank you, I'm sorry. Yeah, this thing's a hard time. Happens. Okay, so here we have the expressions. It says, sorry, can I take a rain check? A rain check based on Google is like a coupon used to customer by a store a guarantee that a sell item or oh, that is out. Can I take a rain check? Sorry, can I take a rain check? Mm -hmm. It's like a ticket or um, when you go out, okay? Um, it's like a coupon or something like that. It doesn't make sense. Let's work with the next one. I'm sorry, but I have all the plums that day. Again, if somebody asks you, would you like to go to my wedding? <laughs> my wedding. Would you like to go to my wedding on Saturday? You can say, sorry, but I have all the plums that day. Also, you can say, thanks for thinking of me, but I have other things going on that day. Also, you can say, I really wish I could make it, but I'll be unavailable that whole day. So out of those three, five, that we have this one and this one and this one, are the best ones. These are other ways that you can decline something, an invitation in English, yeah? For these ones, Christmas is coming. So you have a lot of invitations coming for you, right? Would you like to go to my house and eat panes con pollo? I'm sorry. Okay. If somebody asks you, for example, that thing, would you like to go to my house on, on the... Would you like to come to my house on this Christmas and have some panes con pollo? And if you want to decline, ¿cómo cree que usted declina esa invitation? Mm -hmm. Anybody, tell me. If somebody asks you, would you like to come on Christmas and have some panes con pollo with me? You stay, lo declina, because you don't want to go for different reasons. ¿Cómo haces? How do you say that? Anybody, raise your hand. Anybody? Raise your hand. Okay, Lorena, thank you. Thanks for thinking of me, but I have other things to do on that day. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. Right? Otra respuesta? Aparte de esa que dio um, your classmate? Yeah. If somebody comes to you, right, and say, says to you, like, Hey, listen, would you like to come to my um, house on this Christmas and have a bunch of tamales de gallina, right? Mm, that thing is delicious. Pero you decline. How do you do that? How do you decline an invitation about having some tamales on Christmas? How do you do that? Andrea Marisol Represa, ayúdeme. Please help me out with that one. How do you decline that beautiful invitation? Mm -hmm. Don't forget uh, that. Con, con los que están ahí o con cualquier no, otra? You can, use, you can use whatever you want. Just The only thing I need is just you to decline the invitation. Um, I'm sorry, but I have to be sitting my parents. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. Great job. Don't forget people that I don't need to see your cameras. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you have to do it. Okay. But it's, it's uh, let's say another one. What about like, if somebody invites you to go to the movie theater? Yes. If somebody asks you like, would you like to go out? Would you like to go out and watch some movies today? How do you decline that invitation? Come usted he say, oh, no, I'm sorry. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. How do you decline an invitation about going out to the movie theater? Mm -hmm. Would you like to go out to the movie theater today? Como declina esa? Thank you, Carla. Carla, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Carla Melissa Colocho, thank you.
No? Okay. Let's continue with the next one. Let me see. I have another one here. Formal. These are like formal waves. We have other waves. This is formal. Of this one, it's casual, right? In the first one, this one is casual. Casual. But this one here is formal. It's a little bit more formal than the other ones, right? Um, we have like four ways. I appreciate the invitation, but I won't be able to go. I'm very busy that week, so I won't be able to join you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your invitation, but unfortunately, I can make it. Thank you for extending the invitation to me, but I'm not available that day. So this is like more formal. The ones that we saw before is about casual decline, right? If somebody asks you, like, or, or invites you to an invite, like to do something, or if someone invites you to a place or to a party using wood, you can have all these options to decline that invitation, right? You can use the one that we have in this contact material, right? Uh, but also you can have uh, these options as well. Uh, yes. Questions about this? Just questions. You have some exercises available in the platform. No sé si ya revisaron la plataforma. En la plataforma, you have some exercise available. So I need you to do the exercise, right? Para esta semana tenemos la... Um, the number four, that's what we have, okay? The number four, this one is the one that we have, number four. Vamos a trabajar un poco con este reading que está aquí, okay? Acerca de uh, music, okay? Voy a ver si lo compacto a little bit bigger, so you can take a look at ah, esta cosa. Jesus, lo siento, okay? Okay, esta cosa no me deja hacerlo más grande. Mira, ahí está. Okay, entonces ahí está. This is Cristina Aguilera. I will play the audio. Creo que está el audio ahí. Voy a poner el audio primero y luego we practice together. Quiero ver si está el audio. No, no está el audio. Oh my gosh, that's not good. Okay, entonces vamos a practicar así con el video. Okay, we have Cristina Aguilera. We have a participation. If you want to participate, raise your hand. If not, it's going to be random people. Let me know. If you want to participate, you can raise your hand. And if not, just be ready because somebody will do it. Lucia Elena Cepeda. Thank you, Lucia. Te empieza. Okay. Please. Uh, Cristina Aguilera. So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fun of all age around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She is Christina Aguilera. Thank you so much. Yes. That was very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Great job. Andrea Marisol Represa, thank you. Sigo lo que, o desde el inicio? No, continue, here. Here, here are some, I. Uh, Sorry, que la pantalla se me hace grande y pequeña. Here are some highlights of Christina's life and career. Career. ¿Así se pronuncia, teacher? Career. 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 <laughs> career. 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 Okay. Timeline. Uh, 19, 1980. Así. No, o tengo que decirlo como... That's the way, that's the way. Okay. Así como lo digo, okay. that's the way. Okay, Christina is born on December 18 in New York. Uh, 1988. Christina first appears on television in a Star Search, a television talent show. Uh, 1992, Christina is on TV in Disney. New Mickey Mouse, New Mickey Mouse Clue with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. <clears throat> uh, 1994, uh, Christina records All I Wanna Do. 
with Keiso Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much, Andrea. Great job. Okay. Let's continue with you, um, Griselda. Continue with you, Griselda. Here, 1998. That is the next one, Griselda. Okay. Um, 1998, Cristina sing a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Um, ¿Cómo era la fecha, teacher? Night, 1998. <laughs> 19. Um, estamos por el, ya el, quiero ver, estamos en 1999, ¿cierto? 1999. Beautiful, continue. Esto se me hace grande, chiquito. Cristina has her first big hit. Jenny X, X a board. ¿Cómo se lee bottle? Jenny in a bottle. Bottle. Jenny in a bowl. A bottle. A bottle. 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 Continue or continue again? Yes, please continue. Sorry. Okay. Um, 20, 21. 2001. Ah, 2001. Along with other singer, Christina Record, Lady Mam, Mar, Marmalade. 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 For the movie Molling Rose. Yo preferiría que alguien más leyera, teacher, para que se escuche bonito. Oh, no, continue. You're doing it good. Perfect. I love it. Continue. <laughs> okay. Uh, 2000, to, to, 2002. 2002. 2002. 2002. Eh, Cristina Perfon anti closing ceremony ceremony for the Winter Olympics come in Sal Lake City, Utah. 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 Exactly. Winter Olympic Games. Winter Olympic Games. Utah. Okay. Okay. Continue. 2004. Christina Winty Beck's family pop vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Thank you. We have a uh, female, female. B, come on. Female. B, mayor. Female. Female. Award. 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 Ah, award. Very good. Beautiful, beautiful. For, for beautiful. Oh, that's a good song, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very good. Solo déjeme el next participant, which is you, Claudia Lopez. Thank you, Claudia Lopez. Can you finish this part of the reading, please, Claudia? Thank you. Okay. I people love my job to do all Christina fans. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay, so we have like trail. She is trail by her success. That's that means that is like amazing. Like she's a star. Yes. Ah, uh, este, bueno, yo solo quería preguntar desde hace. Excuse me. I think the internet connection went down. Was I didn't hear you? Hello. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Uh, your your mic doesn't work. Okay, ahora sí. Yes, Andrea. Yes. Está, perdón, creo que estaba tocando mal el botón. Eh, sí, le decía que cuando habíamos leído algunos textos, 
eh, anteriormente, eh, recuerdo que una vez alguien me dijo de que eh, a la hora de leer textos en inglés, teníamos que leerlos así como en el español, ¿no? Con la, con, digamos, en el caso del español lleva muchos signos de puntuación, eh, digamos, cosas de, de interrogación, todo eso, que es muy parecido al inglés, solo que no es tan dramático como en el español, ¿no? Entonces, uh, quería preguntarle eso como para realmente reafirmar si es cierto, o sea, digamos, como a veces hay puntos seguidos, hay comas, ya que, que eso da como el, el contexto de la, de, de la frase que estamos diciendo, ¿no? Para que se pueda entender bien en inglés. Pero corríjame si estoy mal. No, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. It's quite the same. Yes. En inglés lo único que hacemos, el que exageramos bastante, es el exclamation point. Ese sí. Por ejemplo, yo a veces, no sé si han escuchado, que a veces digo, oh, that's amazing, unbelievable, incredible, fantastic. So, in that one, I exaggerate. I exaggerate. Right? Porque en español no decimos eso, you know what I mean? Anything sí. is the same. Tenemos que hacer las pausas. Overall, Cristina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She laughs. I simply love my job. Yep, so you made the passes. Exactly. Es lo mismo. Eso que le dijeron está correcto. Sí, siempre vamos a hacer las pausas, uh, mm -hmm. los puntos, right? Eh, los... Igual que en Spanish. Okay. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Yep. Andrea. Thank you, teacher. Sí. Thank you. Perfect. Sí, sí le, sí le sugiero a todos con el exclamation. El exclamation es donde exageramos la pronunciation. If you know, I'm um, like people from the US, Americans, they exaggerate things. If they want to do something simple like, oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's thank you so much. Right. So exaggerate. Something like, like that. Why teachers we stay with exaggerate is because they ayuda a usted a, a mover un poquito más la boca. You know what I mean? Cuando estamos aprendiendo, pues somos tímidos y nos cuesta un poquito abrir la boca. Entonces, when we pronounce the different words, tenemos que exagerar para que usted pues vaya pues, como le digo, moviendo los músculos de su boca so you can pronounce better. You know, I'm spelling mm -hmm. the mass exagera, they ayuda a your pronunciation. Obviously, right? And that's clear. Con el tiempo se le va a ir quitando esa exageración porque usted ya va a saber. Ya no va a necesitar. Como está aprendiendo, yes, you need to exaggerate. You know what I mean? So you can practice your pronunciation. Cuando ya lo sepa, when you will be a master on this one, ya usted va bajando la exaggeration on that. So you can just be like, yeah. Okay. Something else? Oh, no, teacher, yo solo quería decirle algo. Sí, con respecto a eso, eh, a mí me, yo ya he tenido la oportunidad de trabajar con algunos así y de verdad que ese, el oh my God, ellos lo hacen como, oh my God, o sea, es súper dramático, realmente, literal, oh my God, o sea, como, como lo es. Entonces, eso que usted dice sí es muy cierto, como decir, oh, amazing. Ellos son como muy, uh, este, eh, si algo no les gusta, lo van a exagerar. Y si algo no les gusta, pues también se le va a notar mucho. Entonces, eh, sí le quería hacer como esa mención, ¿verdad? Porque tal vez también a todo el grupo nos ayuda a eso, que de repente, pues, uh, estamos aprendiendo y todo. Eh, yo porque he tenido la oportunidad de estar con algunas personas que viven allá y, y les pongo atención y, y por Dios que de verdad que son muy exagerados, pero realmente ellos son así y son y lo otro es que son sumamente educados por todo, le piden perdón a uno, o sea, y a veces no han hecho eh, nada, <risa> nada que a uno le pueda ofender y ellos sienten que están ofendiéndolo o algo y, en, y ellos están como, oh, I'm sorry, y, en, y, y no pasa nada, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, también como cuando dicen, la, la, I'm sorry, sí como que lo dicen de una manera sutil, ¿no? No es como, I'm sorry. Y ya, también como eso es, es bien importante. Eso nada más, Chichi, le quería comentar. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much for bringing on that information on this class. Pues eso, eso, that's true, right? That's true. Uh, um, ustedes van a, como digo, en este proceso de learning English, 
pues uh, todo lo que les ayude to learn, that's good. Esa cosa que se llama Duolingo, que ustedes dicen, hay algunos alumnos dicen, ay, no, profe, esta cosa es piece of cake. Sirve, it works, you know what I mean? Todo lo que a ustedes les sirva para aprender, do it. I mean, do it. Ah, yo tengo esa aplicación, teacher. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yes. So, everything that helps you. Por ejemplo, TikTok. Most of you use TikTok, right? Most of you use TikTok. Busque videos de TikTok in English. Donde le enseñe en English, right? Donde le enseñe en phrases, right? Um, busque, por ejemplo, on Facebook. Busque páginas donde le enseñe en English, right? Para que usted esté empapado de eso. You know what I mean? Uh, watch videos on YouTube. Everything that help, helps you to learn is good. So you can get used to, to that, okay? Um, and that is true, right? Exaggerating things in English is part of the learning process. Yeah, so uh, English teacher, we will recommend um, this thing. We, we tell you, listen, you need to exaggerate. So you need to open your mouth so I can hear your pronunciation better. And that's the way we do it. That's the way we do it. Yeah, uh, just because you're learning, you know what I mean? So, y eso de los puntos, las comas, it's the same way. You need to do the pauses, okay? And you need to do like the, um, I don't know, the reading according to the way you see it. Yes. Um, for English teaching, sometimes, si los dejo que, por ejemplo, cada maestro piensa, o sea, trabaja diferente. Entonces, um, si la verdad los invito, por ejemplo, cuando cambian de, de módulo, ¿vale? ustedes están acostumbrados a un maestro, luego viene otro, luego viene otro. ¿vale? Entonces, ustedes dicen, ay, no, es que este maestro no trabaja como el otro. Entonces, cada uno pues, tiene su forma de enseñar. Entonces, yeah, the, the way, right? At the end, the only purpose is you to, is for the teacher just to teach you English, right? So you need to be sure, like, cada maestro le va a dar una pauta, le va a dar una forma, in everything that, that helps you to, to learn, just take it, you know what I mean? Take it, because the main objective as a teacher is to teach you that. I just, just you need to be uh, patient on that. Tenemos options here. Uh, she seems, oh, what is this thing? Okay, what is this thing? She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. Oh my gosh, what is this thing? One, two, three, four, five. What is the meaning of this? I don't get it. Number One. seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's gonna, okay, aquí si no lo entiendo. Can you help me out with this one, please? Con este. Hay nueve fechas, pero solamente hay como que ocho ítems. Exactly. Así que, así que como que la número nueve como que no vale. It's not there, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So what is the correct one in this one? In number one, what is the correct one? She sings at the Winter Olympic Games. What is the option? Um, what is the option? Let me check. Number oh, eight. Number eight, okay. And then she is born in New York. What is the date? Number one. Number one, very good. And then we have, she wins a, Gram a Grammy for Beautiful. What is the option? Okay, wins a Grammy. Wins a Grammy. Eight. Number eight? No, I think that's not number eight. Oh, she wins a Grammy. Oh, eight. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's gonna be Is number it seven? eight. It's gonna be number eight, because seven. that would be. Oh, seven. Seven. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. What about letter C? Uh, she wins. I don't know. Perdón, me equivoqué. Esa es Elaine, teacher. Eight. Okay. She records a song for a Disney movie. A Disney movie. What is the option? Disney movies. Mm -hmm. Number two. Number two. Okay. Let's select number two. Uh, Disney movies, number two. And five. the other one is, she travels five, around teacher. Japan. This is fine, teacher. Number five, okay. And no, la, la de arriba. Oh, the, this La one. de, teacher. La... There, this is number five. 
Okay. And what about letter E? She travels around Japan. Four. Number four. Okay. And she works with Britney Spears? Three. Number three. three. And what about letter G? She's on television for her first time. Number two. Number two. Okay, and she has her first very successful song. What is the option in here? Six. Number six, okay. Now let's check. Let's hit NBR. Oh my gosh, look at this one. You got it all. That's very good. That's wonderful. Uh, la vida is one. Oh, is it number... Oh, this is going to be just number one. Ah, ese sí es Juan. Es que hay dos marcados. Number one. And what about number, letter A? What is the option in letter A? Is number seven? One. Number one as well? Okay. Let's check. Seven. I think it's seven. Let me check. Yes. Seven. Check. Oh, we have 25. Look at this one. 25 out of 25. Sí, estaba rara, pero está bien. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Okay, I will say the attendance. Please, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Thank you so much. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Alison, Daniela Celaya. Alison. Thank you, Alison. Uh, Ana Marisol Zamora. I'm here, Present teacher. Thank you so much. Andrea Marisol Represa, you're here. Yes, I'm here, Andrea teacher. Mari Andrea Vanessa Landos. Hello, Andrea. Are you here? Andrea, are you here? Hello, hello. No? Okay. Let's continue with you, Barbara Cabrera. Present, teacher. Brenda Castro. Present. Carolina del Carmen Pérez. Hello. Uh, Claudia López. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, let me check. Cristina América Monge. Hello, Cristina. No? Okay, let's continue with you, Daniela Asensio. Daniela Asensio. No? Okay, um, Edgar, you're here, right? Ernesto eh, Ventura. Oh, let me check the chat. Somebody wrote. Thank you, Edgar. Okay, um, Griselda. Griselda, you're next. Are you here, Griselda? Yes, I'm. Thank you so much. Ivania Mendoza. No? Okay, let's continue with you, Jennifer Torres. Jennifer Torres. No? Okay, let's continue with you, Jennifer Moss. Hello, Jennifer Moss. No? Okay, Jennifer, I'm sorry, Jennifer Marroquin. Hello, hello, Jennifer. No? Okay, um, Jocelyn Mancia. Present teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Um, Karen Garcia. And I'm here. Carla Colocho. I'm Laura here. Molina. Hello, Laura. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Leslie, where well, she's sick, I guess. Elizabeth de Rodriguez. Hello, Present teacher. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Here. Thank you, Lorena. And the other one is you, Lucia. Cepeda. I'm here. Thank you, Mayra Mendez. Hello, Mayra. No? Okay. Raul, you're here, right? Yes. Dalila. Hello, Dalila. Hello. Thank you, Ruth del Carmen Chicas. Present. Thank you, Stephanie Quintanilla. I'm here, Mister. Thank you so much. Okay, so just for you to remember, don't forget that you need to do the exercise and check the material that is available in the website, in the platform, right? So you can cover all the resources available for you there. 
Okay, so uh, thank you so much, everybody, for participating in this class. Don't forget that you can practice your English. Practice your English as much as possible at home. Uh, review the material if you have the time to do it. Um, Brenda, do you have a question? No. <laughs> okay, because your mic went on and I was like, oh, she has a question. Okay. Um, yeah. If um, Do you have a question before we let? No, teacher. That's wonderful, people. Enjoy your weekend. Be nice. Be kind. Don't forget to practice your English, and we will see you next week on Monday. Take care. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Okay, good night. Thank you.